What's going on guys? Another beautiful day here in Maine. We could use a little more snow. This is getting pretty boring. I'm ready to put the girls to work here. Hey, I want to talk about an Aaron snowblower that I picked up earlier this season. And I started doing some research on it. There's one particular feature that I wanted to cover on it. Um, something that I really like about it. And something that I wish that Aaron's would continue developing. But unfortunately it didn't happen. But um, when I started looking into this machine and doing some more research, I realized what a kind of unique machine this thing was and some of the cool history behind it. Uh, so I'll dig right into it here. So this is a 1963 10 ML 60. It's actually a 10 ML 60 D. D which stands for deluxe and I'll get into what that means later on, but so this was the first line of the Aaron snow throws from 1960 to 1964. And periodically here, I'll throw up some pictures of some brochures and whatnot. These were just, is a really cool lineup really well designed lineup if you ask me i mean this machine works extremely well for being how 50 plus years old um now these first series they didn't really have any it, there wasn't an official series name for instance like the this next machine right here from 1965 to 1974 they're called the 10,000 series where these ones didn't really have any official name. Uh, the first model was known as a 45 TAC 10M. And then they went on into the 10M, 10M L35, L55, and then L60. Now, one, re one way to tell that this is a 1963 is it has what's called the, uh, the teardrop bucket. Yeah, 63, they come out with a lineup called the the uh, Guard and Yard Snow Throws. And what that means is that this machine could take multiple attachments, not just a snowblower. You could break this machine in half and hook on a couple other attachments. And at the time, they had a rotary motor, uh, a rotary mower, and a yard vacuum. And just a really cool design. And that carried on into the 10,000 series. And that and they called that the track team. So on this machine, that D stands for deluxe, meaning that this machine could accept those uh, what they, <laughs> guard and yard attachments. And one thing, if you notice the nameplate, this one ha does have a nameplate. The nameplate for this is missing. And right about here on the nameplate, there was a, this little uh, guard and yard logo. Now that unique feature that I was talking about earlier that I wanted to cover was something that these deluxe models came with. It's what's called a ratchet drive. If you look in behind the hub here, see this hub assembly? What this is, is an early version of Aaron's auto turn. But this ratchet drive system on this machine, which is in working order, works extremely well. In fact, this machine is probably one of the easiest to operate snowblowers I have ever used. It's, it just seamlessly goes through turns. Um, I'm going to do a demo here in a second. And you'll see that while this thing is moving, while you're taking a turn, you won't disturb the gravel at all. It will go through a turn silky smooth. 
And I really wish that Aaron's would have continued developing this. Uh, but unfortunately, it was a short-lived uh, accessory. Now, the reason that they had that accessory was because of the attachment series. So that if you were to be using this in the summer, it would, it would roll across your lawn without damaging the grass. Um, so on, on some of these newer, on, on the 10,000 series here, you have, a, you have a differential lock right there so you can lock and unlock the axle as needed. Um, I, I think it's, that differential lock works great. I always keep it locked. Um, I don't have any problems going around corners with it, but it does, you'll notice when I operate this, that it will dig up the gravel a little bit here. Whereas this one, it's just seamless. So, give you guys a demo here in a few minutes. So if you guys haven't seen one of these in action before, this has one engagement lever. This operates both the, um, the auger assembly and the drive system. So I gauge this up. I'm gonna put it in gear. I get this lever locked in. I'm gonna disengage this. Now watch the gravel below the wheels here. I mean, it's just seamless. Now this is the 10,000 series with the lock differential. You're going to see that it's going to dig up the gravel a lot more as it's going around the corner. See how much more difficult it is to steer? Not that it's a huge deal, but just that thing, just, it just glides, you know? Now, it's like for me, I have a gravel driveway. I really don't care, but, you know, someone who had a pavement driveway or a nice walkway or whatnot might be a little bit more concerned. So, <clears throat> yeah, that that um, that ratchet drive system, I really wish that it was continued to be developed. Um, now, they, they do say that it does have quite a few problems. Well... There was quite a few failures, should I say, and parts are very hard to to uh, find for it these days, which is one reason why I haven't really messed with it too much. Um, at some point, I kind of want to take it apart and just see the uh, internal workings of it, but for now, I'm just going to let it ride. I mean, it works, and it works really well, so anyways, hope you guys enjoy these videos. Um, Please like, share, and subscribe. Enjoy.